these are all the ones that I have been to that we've had some pictures. We've gotten some pictures <laughs> off of the websites because back in some of these we used film and uh, we didn't have pictures available, so we went to the website. Uh, first one I have is Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary. Known as The Rock, it was famous for the Al... It was the famous for Al Capone and Birdman of Alcatraz. Uh, the picture down here on the far right is Al Capone's cell. Uh, I lived out in the Francisco <laughs> area in the late 50s, so it was still in use as a prison. So I actually did not get to go there until last year. These are some of the cells and also where the guards can look down on all the prisoner rooms. And uh, at the Arches, uh, it was established in 1971. It's located in eastern Utah and bordered by the Colorado River, just outside the mountain biking mecca of Moab. And there's more than 2,000 natural sandstone formation that gives this park its name. You get other formations include the pinnacles, fins, walls, and balanced rock. And it's very interesting. We walked all through this area. Okay, why is it moving forward? There. And the Badlands. My mother was from South Dakota, and David and I have been to the South Dakota. So we went up there. We saw uh, it's the greatest treasure of <laughs> fossils, and uh, bison still roam there, the mixed green prairie. It's the largest undisturbed remnant of the Great Plains of U.S. And down there, you go see some prairie dogs. They were all over the place. Uh, again, we saw snakes and all of that through there. So some of it's prairie and some of it's this rock. Right, formation. right. It's a it's a mixture. Okay. So if you go from one thing, you see the prairie things, and then you go all around, and then you see all these formations. Big Bend. It was established in 1944. It's in West Texas along the Mexico border. Uh, we used to go as kids and we used to go camping there during the summer. And uh, it's larger than the state of Rhode Island. Black Canyon was established in 1999. It was carved over a span of two million years by the Gunnison River in Western Colorado. It's between Montrose and Gunnison. And, and it's very interesting. If any of y'all get to go to any of these parks, I think you'll be in awe. Bryce Canyon, uh, it was established in 1928. It's a mysterious maze-like landscape of horseshoes and bowl-shaped hoodoos. And hoodoos are the formations that are sticking up out of the center there. It has natural amphitheaters of rough spires chewed from the edge of the Ponce Gunt Plateau in southern Utah. The Cabrillo, this is a monument. It was established in 1913. In 1542, the explorer Juan Cabrillo stepped ashore on the Point Loma Peninsula near modern-day San Diego, California, making him the first European to land on the west coast of the future United States. This monument commemorates that historic achievement with a 14-foot statue of Cabrillo, and it was funded by the government of Portugal, the country's, the explorer's home country. <coughs> Uh, this is the lighthouse that's <coughs> there, and then on the bottom is the statue along with, it shows the San Diego Bay there. And uh, so you might be able to see some of the naval installations. So what? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Canyon Lands, it was established in 1964, and the mighty Colorado River, aided right by the Green River, created this high desert canyon and mesas, arches, and buttes of this national park. And I think it was in this area, David said, oh, let's go down this road. And it seemed okay for a while. And then it got narrow and a dirt road. And I decided we better turn around. So we managed to turn around. They said it's an, actually a three-day trip. And we should not have been there in a van. You need a high car SUV. Capitol Reef, we were just there in um, January. It was established in 1971. Despite its nautical name, Capitol Reef has nothing to do with the sea. Rather, this ridgeland was formed when a fault line moved 50 to 70 million years ago, dwarfing the Earth's crust <laughs> in a monocline known as the Pocket Fold. Uh, this is me down in the snow right there. Uh, you, the top on the right is the 
uh, castle. It's called a castle. And you can see the different layers of the yeah. formations. 20 million years. If, yeah. Yeah, 20 million years yeah. each one. Linda, what state is that in? That one is in um, Utah. Okay. Okay. South Central. Yeah, South Central Utah. It's three million Utah. Uh, Capulin Volcano, Volcano was established in 1916. It's 1,300 feet. Uh, it's near Raton, New Mexico. <laughs> and it was formed about 60,000 years ago when the eruption formed a cone of cinders and ash. A couple of years ago, we took the, our exchange student from Austria up there, and you can actually drive up to the top, and then he walked around the inside of it and all of that. Mm -hmm. So it's very interesting. Uh, Carlsbad Caverns, it was established in 1930. This is one of the world's most famous show caves and forms the heart of this national park. It was discovered in the late 19th century, and the cave includes the big room, a natural limestone chamber that is 255 feet high, 625 feet wide, and about 4,000 feet long. Now, if I can get my mouse right over here, there's the Seattle Space Needle. Yes. And you can see in the relevance and size of the two together and how big Carlsbad is. Wow. Uh, this is some more pictures inside Carlsbad. This is the lake mics, the lake tights, and all that. Death Valley, we were just there in January, and it was established in 1994. It's the largest national park outside of Alaska. Paradoxically, there is life everywhere in Death Valley, especially when the spring rainstorms cause this 140 mile swath of desert to erupt in a colorful profusion of living wildfire flowers. And hardy pronghorn sheep and mountain lions make their home in this harsh environment. The, basis, the basin is the hottest and driest national park in the US. And at 280 feet below sea level, the second lowest spot in the Western hemisphere. Now, there's one of the, you know, Death Valley days, Ronald Reagan, the Borax, 20, and 20 Wheel Team. Uh, okay, this is our car right down there, and we walked around, I think it's about a quarter of a mile. These wheels are seven feet tall. Uh, this is a water tank that carried 1,300 gallons. They could carry about 33,000 pounds of the Borax, and these two uh, containers, and it did take 20 mule teams because they had to haul it 165, 100, miles, out. 165 miles outside of this uh, valley, and so it was quite an ordeal. Glacier Bay, that was established in 1980, and then other than seeing the glaciers from a cruise ship, there are daily flights from Juneau to Gustavus, Gustavus for an onshore visit. Now, a couple of years ago, we had our my district conference, and we were seeing the ice falling down. And we tried to do a meeting when y'all were meeting at the Buffalo, what is it? Cape Buffalo. Cape Buffalo. But they, everybody was out on the parking lot because the restaurant had closed and not told anybody. So we tried to have a meeting from there. Grand Canyon was established in 1919. More than 5 million people visit this place annually, mostly to the South Rim. And venturing below the rim of the 277 mile long Grand Canyon is no lark. The elevation change is 7,000 feet, and the desert environment can be extremely challenging. Now, this picture was taken a couple of years ago. And then we went to a rotary meeting there in January. This is at the, um, the El Tavar Hotel restaurant. And uh, you see there are icicles hanging down. Mm -hmm. There's the snow, and right there is a the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. So it was very interesting that day. The meeting was the Young Professional <coughs> Vocational Training Team from Brazil. And uh, they were up here. They were only doing agricultural stuff. Here's another picture of the Grand Canyon. Oh, this is the Bright Angel Trail down mm -hmm. here. And uh, we've stayed at the Bright Angel Inn, and you're only like 100 feet from the rim. The Grand Tetons were established in 1929. It's close to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and Yellowstone. And it protects the major peaks of the Teton Range, including the 13,775-foot Grand Teton. 
The Grand Sand Dunes, uh, they were established in 2004. Sand sledding is the most unique activity there. It's located in southern Colorado in the shadow of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains and the park's 30 miles of dunes, some reaching 750 feet, can be hiked in the morning or late afternoon. Or in the springtime, you can take a dip in the Madonna Creek. You really don't want to hike it in the middle of the day. It gets rather warm there. The Great Smoky Mountains, established in 1926, is set in some of the oldest mountains on Earth. It's 814 square miles and is so remarkably loud and diverse that scientists haven't even come close to documenting every living thing which resides here, although estimates range up to 100,000 species of animals and plants. You can even take a hike along the segment of the Appalachian Trail. So there is Glenda Thomas, she's from Oklahoma, another Rotarian at the time, Janie, um, Cooper and myself. And you can see we walked some of the Appalachian Trail. Uh, this is Janie there, it was more of that. How far did you walk? Well, that's relevant. How far we walked is not relevant. <laughs> so uh, what state was that part it, of it in? This is in Tennessee. It's okay. close to Pigeon Forge, Sevierville. Yeah. Uh, I've been there, I don't know how many times now. Uh, this is Clingman's Dome. You walk up about a quarter or half a mile, it seems like forever. And then there's a big circular thing. You get to the top of the dome and you can see, I don't know, miles away, several states. So you get over the Great Smoky Mountains. It's a wonderful opportunity. Took my neighbors there last summer and they thoroughly enjoyed it. The Guadalupe Mountains are established in 1966. It was once an underwater reef and they're in West Texas. They rise to about 8,000 feet over the Chihuahua Desert including Texas's highest point, the 8,749-foot Guadalupe Mountain. Haleakala, it was established in 1916. The stark volcanic landscape at the peak of Haleakala might not suggest it, but this park on the Hawaiian island Maui protects more endangered species than any other in the U.S. It rises from level sea level to more than 10,000 feet. When we were there, I had to, we had to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning, drive over, to this area. It's a steep winding road. You have to watch out for the cattle crossing the road. And the biker. And the biker. Well, the bikers, yeah, they, they're taken up, but then they ride down. Damn. And it's cold. We were all wrapped in towels and everything because it was, you wouldn't believe how cold it was there. The sun rises. And then Hawaii volcanoes, uh, they were established in 1916. A visit here may be the best opportunity to see an active volcano up close and personal. Located on the Big Island of Hawaii, this park encompasses two of the most active volcanoes in the world, Kilauea and Mauna Loa. Now, I had planned, we have friends on the island, and we had driven over there. We were going to take a helicopter ride. Well, my girlfriend, they only had room for one person on the helicopter, so she went. She was going to take pictures as they flew over, and she ran out of film the day or the time that they were over it. So I actually did not see the top of it. Hot Springs, Arkansas, I think most of you all know about that, the horse racing and everything, but they were used for their healing powers for centuries by Native Americans before Congress protected them in 1921. The Little Bighorn Battlefield, it was established in 1879. U.S. General George Armstrong Custer and hundreds of his 7th Cavalry soldiers died on June 25, 1876, during the Battle of the Little Bighorn one of the last major engagements between the U.S. Army and the Native American tribes. This gentleman down here is looking at the gravestone of uh, General Custer. And there are markers for it, where everybody was, had been killed. Um, Mammoth Cave was established in 1926. It's the world's largest known cave with over 400 miles of passageways and possibly more. It's located 85 miles south of Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, we were just over there last year. At Mesa Verde, it was established in 1906. The Puebloan people built their famous dwellings in southwestern Colorado. It's near Durango, starting in about 550 AD, <laughs> and lived there for more than 700 years before they mysteriously abandoned their homes, never to return. There is rumors that been told that it was the drought, they could no longer farm, and so therefore they had to move. Mount Rushmore, 
It was established in 1925. It's South Dakota, located near uh, Deadwood, uh, South Dakota, and it commemorates the first 150 years of American history. And there is a called a secret room up there. The builder had built this room for some reason that David told me, I can't remember. Museum. Oh, it's like a museum, but we haven't gone up there. When we were there, though, oh, that we saw people rappelling down from uh, Roosevelt's head because, because of the shift and the granite and everything, uh, they have cracks. So they have to go in and fill that. And so they were repelling down and trying to determine the survey on how to fix it. But they're celebrating their 75th anniversary. Come on. Ah, Muir Woods. This was established in 1908. It's very small, just 554 acres, but perhaps the most famous national monument in the U.S. Park Service. A fragment of the two million acres of redwood forest that once covered the Pacific coastline of Northern California and Oregon Muir Woods preserves one of the last stands of old growth coastal redwoods in the San Francisco Bay Area. Of course, that's me. And uh, you can see more of the woods. It's sort of like a rainforest. It's all ferns and just gorgeous. If, if you've ever been to Sequoia, it's uh, these are just a little bit smaller than Sequoia. The Petrified Forest was established in 1962. The late Triassic period may have occurred 225 million years ago, but it comes to life again at Petrified Forest National Park. In addition to Petrified Wood, this park in northeastern Arizona also contains fossilized ferns, cicada, ginkgos, giant reptiles, amphibians, as well as early dinosaurs. The Rocky Mountains, as they were established in 1915. The wooded forest, mountain tundra, and high altitude lakes are among the diverse environments visitors will encounter. The park is north central Colorado, covers 415 miles, including 14,259 foot Longs Peak and more than 60 mountains topping 12,000 feet. When we were there in January at the southern part of Colorado, we had to stop for the uh, big Longhorn. Uh, Big horn sheep to cross the road. And so that was, everybody stops to take pictures. Pearl Harbor, Honolulu, Hawaii was established September 9, 1980. The USS Arizona is by far the most famous component of the World War II valor in the Pacific National Monument, which sprawls over nine sites. You have to take a boat as you do it. And also, you can still see the oil rings that are still seeping from the ships. Still leaking. Still leaking, that's what I said. This is the world. It was established in 1994. It's located west and east of Tucson, Arizona. And the two units of Saguaro National Park protect deserts inhabited by 1.6 million saguaro cactuses, the iconized multi-limbed giants of the southwest. They live up to 200 years, grow as high as 50 feet, and store hundreds of gallons of water. And I've been told it takes maybe up to 50 years for them to establish their limbs. So we see all these all along the highway, too, just going out to California. The Sunset Crater Volcano is uh, established 1930. It's a, this monument has an interesting history. The drive to protect the site took form after a 1920s Hollywood movie bakers tried to use this ancient cinder cone as a movie prop with plans to detonate a large cache of explosives in order to simulate a volcanic eruption. And the crater was born about 900 years ago. So, uh, but you cannot drive up to it. The Wupatki, it was established in 1924 the American Indian or Native American Pueblos built by the ancestral, whatever that name is, his size simple people, they retain Hopi, or are the jewels of the Wapaki National Monuments. It's nestled between the Painted Desert and the Ponderosa Highlands of Northern Arizona. It's near Flagstaff. It's a landscape of legacy. It was home to perhaps 100 people and was a resilient community that survived the eruption of the nearby volcano, which was the sunset. Uh, volcano, and it's believed that these pueblos were occupied from 1140 to 1210 AD. 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a smaller community. Well, there's nothing. And then Yellowstone is, was the, in 1872, and it is America's and the world's first national park. It remains one of the most popular and the eyes of many still the best. The Old Faithful Geyser is the most famous geothermal feature on Earth. Visitors to this 3,500-mile park in Wyoming and Montana can experience the chance to see grizzly bears, wolves, bison, and elk. And even though this picture was taken a while, you still see the buffalo crossing the road, and you have to stop for them. Now, this is called the Artist Waterfall. Artist Point. Artist Point Waterfall because it is painted by so many artists. Uh, this is the geyser, Old Faithful, and this is some of the geothermal formations. Now you can see, I, David may have taken these pictures now. Uh, that was probably about a 53 or 54 uh, Chevrolet or something, Oldsmobile. Same bear. And it's the same bear. But you do see these bears and everything, and people will get out to look at them. That is not a wise thing to do. Even on moose or anything you see, don't get out of your car. You never know when they're going to attack. And Yosemite was established in 1890. The plunging waterfalls, tall trees, and stark majesty of El Capitan is the world's largest granite monolith defined Yosemite, a 1,200 square mile park in California, which stretches far beyond the valley that bears its name. While we were taking this picture, Right next to us was this coyote that wanted to get in the picture, too, I think. And then this is the Bridal Veil Falls there at Yosemite. And there uh, is El Capitan. This is, uh, this is the Half Dome. And... Uh, you see, it was a beautiful. This was in January. There's snow and it's clear skies, beautiful. Nice to jump on. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people try to climb that. Established in July 1909, Zion Canyon is a journey into the distant past, surrounding visitors with multicolored formations of 240 million year old rock as they plunge 2,000 feet down to a claustrophobic river bed just 20 feet wide in places. It's convenient to Salt Lake City, Las Vegas, and the Grand Canyon. This popular Utah park also features a striking desert landscape of arches, mountains, buttes, places, and monoliths. Uh, this is some of the, the river that flows down through it. And uh, walking down into it, you can see all these formations and the, all the things that have been eroded and formed all this. And we have the Washington Monument. And I don't think we need to explain that. They've just done a renovation. It's now open that you can walk up again. See those benches on this side? There's That's benches that you... That's where my parents used to court. They had a picture okay. of them up there about seven or eight years ago. Okay. Again. Okay. This is on a trip where we did a lot of these East Coast things. Is David took three women and you know, on a 21-day trip he, and 4,500 4, and some odd miles, and he did all the cooking at our timeshares. We, we voted on everything. Yeah, he said we voted on everything, but he seemed to three to one. Three to one. But we went through 21 states, part of Canada to visit some friends, and down through Washington, D.C., and so we had a great trip. At least we did. I don't know about David. And I think that's it. And uh, if anybody has any questions about any of the parks, I'll be glad to answer. This is just some of the ones I've gone to. But this Chimani, C-H-I-M-A-N-I -I app has a whole bunch about the parkways, all the recreation areas, uh, just memorials, battlefields. Uh, we've gone to several battlefields, but time did not allow us to do everything and if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer uh, a question you guys ever do any trips out to oregon we've been to oregon okay. it's been a while i was out there in the late late 60s maybe okay and david's been to crater lake, crater lake. i heard david say it yeah and uh, i've been to all 50 states 
Wow. Megan has not been to North Dakota, so this summer on our way to, or in the fall, on our way to Zone Institute at the end of December, we're going to go up through South Dakota and across and go through North Dakota and back down into Salt Lake for our Zone Institute. Wow. So I've got a map of our travels for this year. Is it lined out? And on the West Coast, it looks like part of a butterfly's wing. On the East Coast, it's the other part of the butterfly. And then in the center is our trip for this fall. Thank you for helping us to appreciate the richness of the uh, national park system. Yeah, and go out and celebrate. And those over 65 can get a season senior, senior pass, and you may only pay 10 or $15 for it. And it's for the rest of your life. And you don't have to pay the 15 to 25 to 35 dollars each time you go into a park. So that is an advantage of being over 65. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you all for your patience and we appreciate it. And go travel the national parks. Excellent presentation. <laughs> very good. And those are great pictures and very good pictures on a lot of those canyon shots. And there's a Rivers down there. I love that one where the river deep down into yeah. it made that with bowls underneath the rocks. Uh, so it's C H U M A. C H I M A N I. M A N I. It's an app. If you get off of the Play Store. Uh, oh, it yeah. 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 But if you just want to peruse all the different things that are covered by the national park system. It's amazing. There's it's not just national park. That's what I Which one has the trees you can drive through? Maybe that's Sequoia. That's Sequoia. Yeah, and they're like the near woods, but yeah. that, those, that Sequoia are much bigger. Not in our park. Yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. No. We say like a, was that a maybe a But my father used to always have a three-week vacation. He worked for an airline, but he says you cannot see America from the air. So every year we would do a three-week vacation from the time I was like six or seven years old, and we would go places across the United States. Um.